The boost meter is a special kind of modular single-screw extruder patented by Heinz List in 1945 and manufactured since 1946 by the boost company. A boost kneader principally consists of a mixing and kneading screw driven by a motor through a speed reduction gearbox that also generates an axial stroke. Here's the central part of the boost kneader. It has a split barrel in which are fixed the kneading pins and this mixing and kneading screw that I just mentioned. The screw shaft is composed of various interchangeable elements which have different functions. Among other things, they're for melting and transporting the raw materials, fine distribution of the additives, or general mixing through interaction between the rotating screw flights and the kneading pins in the housing. As a rule, the machine also includes a discharge unit, for example, a gear pump, or a single screw discharge, as here, or a conical twin screw, as with the latest Compio kneader generation. The main advantages of the boost kneader include excellent accessibility to the process section of the machine. This greatly facilitates maintenance and cleaning work. Another big advantage is that all materials are mixed very quickly and efficiently without exposing the mixture to high stresses. Highly complex mixtures can thus be compounded on very short machines from 10 to 15 LD. That's why boost kneaders are generally very short and by virtue of their operating mode, stress-sensitive materials can be mixed subject to precise monitoring. By stress control, I mean the shear rate, which can be very accurately controlled in the boost kneader, and the ability to avoid any temperature spikes. This is particularly important for highly viscous or very sensitive materials such as PVC, which suffers very quickly from high temperatures. The same applies to elastomers, in particular, if they already contain vulcanizing agents, or flame retardants, which decompose even at relatively low temperatures, or foaming agents and fibers in general, in particular natural fibers. The Compio is, in a way, a synthesis of the most important developments that Boos has realized on its machines in recent decades. There's been a real attempt to combine all the advantages of previous neater generations while increasing flexibility, robustness, and performance. The main advantages of the Compio compared to the recently available boost machines is on the one hand that the Compio allows temperatures up to 400 degrees Celsius whereby a wide range of materials can be processed. This ranges from commodity products to high-performance engineering plastics. Another advantage is that the Compio offers significantly more torque compared to the current models and can thus handle extremely high viscosity materials, which was hardly possible with the previous machines. As far as process technology is concerned, one of the trumps of this new machine is its extremely modular screw geometry. Il faut savoir que les machines actuelles euh, sont, disposent d'une géométrie soit à trois ailettes. Euh, les ailettes, c'est les... It should be noted here that the current machines have either three-flight or four-flight screw geometry. Kneading flights are the small parts that can be seen on the mixing screw. These three-flight or four-flight variants each have their specific advantages, but they could not be combined so far. The Compio has two to six flight screw elements, and these can be combined in one and the same machine. This gives almost infinite configuration options and achieves a degree of flexibility unprecedented with previous systems so far. Another and not insignificant advantage of the Compio concerns the new discharge unit, which represents an absolute novelty in this field. 
connectés. Current machines use either gear pumps or single screw units to discharge the product. The Compio is equipped with a conical twin screw discharge that offers many advantages over the previous technologies. One of these advantages is that the product in this discharge screw can be degassed very efficiently and that it's possible to generate extremely high pressures that can easily reach 250 bar, thus opening up completely new perspectives in terms of product post-processing. In fact, all these positive characteristics mean that Compio actually achieves an incomparable level of performance in terms of flexibility and efficiency. Now, given the advantages Compio offers compared to the technologies currently available, I think Compio will gain a significant market share and will offer significantly more flexibility and additional new opportunities for both compounders and plastics processors.